Welcome to Talking Hope, breakthrough conversations about preventing, treating, and curing cancer. Brought to you by City of Hope, an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. Hope lives here in Orange County. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Talking Hope. I'm your host, Darren Godden, and I'm pleased to be speaking with Sherry Santos. Sherry is a two-time breast cancer survivor, and she's joining us to share her personal journey with breast cancer and her message of encouragement for others. She is a grateful patient at City of Hope Orange County, and I just want to say thank you, Sherry, for being in conversation with us today and joining us on the podcast. You're welcome. It's nice being here. So let's uh, take our listeners back. Can you tell us about your personal journey with cancer? Um, 17 years ago, I was first diagnosed with breast cancer. It was early stage and Thank goodness I was good about getting my mammograms and um, my yearly mammograms. It was caught early stage, but it was invasive. So um, they recommended I get a lumpectomy and I had the full range of chemotherapy, then radiation and 10 years of hormone therapy. Wow. And then last year, 2022, I was diagnosed um, on the other side. And because they found that I had a gene mutation, it wasn't BRCA, that's the one most people know about. Um, it was something called CHECK2, so the odds were less than if I had BRCA, but still high. And they said with my age and that gene mutation, um, they recommended I get a bilateral mastectomy. And I wanted a second opinion because this was from my community hospital. And I was thinking about reconstruction. And so they recommended I go to a more comprehensive cancer center. And so I went to City of Hope Irvine, who had just opened. Hmm. I was probably one of the first few patients the week that they opened. So, wow. So, gosh, I, hearing the words you have cancer once is mm -hmm. life-changing enough yeah 10 years later hearing you have cancer again mm -hmm. uh what what went through your head how did you deal with that fortunately i'm a glass half full kind of gal so when i first heard it i just thought okay the first thing out of my mouth was all right what's the plan how do we get rid of it i just knew i was strong and I'm gonna, let's get rid of it. What do we do? And so they told me what the they recommended and I said, let's go. And even though it was kind of my choice whether to do chemotherapy, it really was, they were giving me the choice. They were saying, you have this percentage um, that it will return if you do this. And then this percentage, if you do that. And I was all in because I thought I'm this age right now if I wait and 10 years, 20 years from now, it comes back again. Little did I know it would. But at the time, I thought, I'm younger now. And chemotherapy, I know, is tough. So let's just do it now. Let's hmm. just do it. I don't want this stuff coming back. Yeah. So I was I was positive and very, um, uh, I, I was positive about it. Okay. I, I didn't. So, I, yeah. So the second time you hear you have cancer again, and they suggest um, coming to a more comprehensive cancer center, and you make your way to City of Hope, Orange County. Um, mm -hmm. What what was different about that experience? What was different was the recommendation of getting mastectomy. Hearing hearing those that you know those words hit me a little harder than just hearing that I had cancer itself, which sounds very strange. Um, but again, I was getting all my tests and because of my gene mutation, I had to get mammograms six months later, breast MRI six months later. I was being tested often, twice a year. And this second one last year was caught on the breast MRI. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have, if I didn't do the gene tracing, I wouldn't have known that 
I needed to get a breast MRI, I would have just be going for my yearly mammograms and it could have been a different story. It was early, caught early. This time it was non-invasive. So I had a lot of decisions to make and that was that was really tough. I mean, want to get into the mental part of it maybe in a little bit. Yeah. No, please go, go ahead. Tell us, tell us, tell us how is that impacting you? Yeah. The first time I told you, I was very positive. Let's get, let's do the plan. Let's get rid of it. And I'm generally a strong person and positive, like I said. So we went through all the, I went through chemotherapy. I don't think I cried one time when them telling me that I had cancer going through chemotherapy, which was very taught, very difficult going through radiation, which was not fun. 10 years of hormone therapy, which did the hot flashes and everything else that happens. Um, Once I was done with radiation, I had, this is, this part's hard to talk about and I don't tell a lot of people, but it's, I feel it's so important because I would bet that a lot of people or a lot of women I had a mental breakdown and it, mm. they called it a situational. And I thought when they started me on the ho- hormone therapy, I thought the medication was making me go crazy. Mm. I had no, I, I was very um, ignorant about mental illness. Um, I didn't know what was happening to me. I couldn't stop crying. I was lashing out at people. I literally thought the world was coming to an end. So I knew to go to my doctor because I thought it was the pills they were giving me for the hormone therapy. And he said, no, no, my oncologist said, it's not, it's not. He happened to know my GP really well. So he called him, they called me and said, get in here right now. And I went in there and I'm crying. I'm just like a mess. And he said, you never cried or anything during the diagnosis your chemotherapy, your radio, you never, you never cried. Did you? And I said, no, cause I was strong. I can do this. I was a manager at a big aerospace company. Mm-hmm. And he said, Sherry, you're having a situational mental breakdown. And he gave me medication. Thank God I got through it. This time getting diagnosed last year, it happened when I needed to make the decision about the mastectomy, hmm. but I knew, I knew what it was this time. I felt it. I could tell how I was lashing out at people that I normally don't lash out at. And I knew right away. And I called the doctor and I said, I, I think I need to, I need some medication just temporarily till I get through these decisions. And yeah. that part is rough. And it makes me sad to think about, other people that probably go through that and they don't talk about it and they don't get help for it. And I know how it feels. I didn't want to tell anybody, you know, it could have, it could have really gone wrong. So Sherry, thank you so much for, for sharing that, that, that is a, an aspect of many diagnoses probably, but also Mm -hmm. for those who are facing a cancer journey. And also one of the reasons why it's so important that at City of Hope, we're, we're really creating this integrated mm-hmm. um, program, medicine program, where we're really looking at supportive care and the different aspects of things that we can wrap around a patient to provide mm-hmm. them the support they need. And and I think yeah. the mental health portion is something that you're right, maybe a lot of people don't talk about enough, mm-hmm. but it is a part of discussion here at City of Hope. It is something that we're aware of. It is something that we're, we're trying to make sure that we have the right um, resources available to, to patients so that, that they're supported in that, in that area. Um, so you came to city of Hope, Orange County, you're having some of those issues as well. Um, how did our physicians or how did your care team, um, support you through that? I've talked about this before, um, walking in and seeing, I, I was very, I felt so calm walking in. I literally did looking around at the beautiful artwork. It's beautifully furnished, new, beautiful furniture. It's just, it just felt so calm and going up into the 
I say this word a lot, beautiful, but the room waiting for the surgeon to come in to meet her. And she just, Jennifer, Dr. Jennifer saying is amazing. She's just amazing. I, she's so understanding, got down to my level, understood everything I was telling her, list, really listened to me. Um, I, I, gosh, I can't say enough about the team. You know, I'm hope to God I never have cancer again, but the only place I'm coming is the city of Hope, Orange County. And that's not a plug because I'm getting paid or anything because I'm not. It's, they're just, my community hospital was fine going through it 17 years ago, the first time. They were fine with me. They were great. Um, it's just not the same. You know, hmm. I, I'll i still, I'm probably still going to get tests and stuff there just because it's close. It's a little closer to me, but um, if if I need anything further than tests, I know you'll be, yeah. you would see me. I hope you don't see me, but you might have. Well, we're, we're glad that we were able to be a part of that journey and and, and get you back to health. So how, how are you feeling today, Sherry? Amazing. Feel great. I I had some reconstruction in May, and uh, I got to go in for a little touch up uh, with Dr. Jeff Chang and Duarte. Um, it's I feel great. I'm doing everything that I was doing before, so working out and going on vacations and feeling fine. Oh, we're 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 very excited to to hear that. So tell us, Sherry, um, how has art played a role in your healing? Um. Seeing it when I walked in, it's it's just calming to look at sitting in the room and seeing the big screen TV, all, all the art is going through one by one, um, and you're even you know, not waiting long, but just waiting for a little bit for everybody to get set up and just seeing all that artwork, it just takes you away. It could take you away to the ocean. It takes you away into greenery and you know plants and landscapes and it just makes you feel like you could be somewhere else so mm. it's just calming it's calming to the mind i i heard you speak recently and you shared a story about how some of your girlfriends took you to some local museums mm -hmm. when you were yes. first diagnosed and how that art was uh really meaningful to you and, mm -hmm. and gave you that sense of calm and yes. then as you were just talking about when you came in the cancer center you saw some of our our art and for those uh, who are who may not be familiar with what we have at the Lennar Foundation Cancer Center, we have a art gallery exhibition that rotates every six months and it's made up of art from local artists across Orange County. And so, Sherry, I understand that when you came to City of Hope Orange County and you were seeing that art on the screens and those are just pictures of what's actually hanging in the hallways. Yeah. Um, you had an interesting um, coincidence happen. So tell us about that. Yes. What, what, what surprise happened there? Waiting for Dr. Sang, um, looking through all the art coming up digitally on that screen. I all of a sudden noticed an art piece that looked very familiar. And I looked down at the bottom to see the artist and it was my cousin. And I knew, you know, we hadn't talked uh, in a while. And um, she, I knew she lived in Irvine. And I, of course, knew she was an artist. I have some of her magnets and stuff. I couldn't afford one of her paintings, actually. So I've got some of her, like, same paintings, but, like, on a magnet. Um, and it was her. And it. I said, oh, my gosh, you know, what a coincidence. This is, this is great. And I contacted her right away. I posted on Facebook, you know. It, it was great just to reconnect with her, too. Wow. And um, it was so wonderful to see her on Monday. Yeah. And I so what a coincidence or yeah, divine design, wonderful. whatever we want to call it. That, that's yeah. got to be something that spoke yes. to you that day. Like, wow, yeah. I'm in the right place. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, they're well, that, that even happened with when I was ready to go to a comprehensive cancer center. You had just opened and you were, you know, City of Hope, Orange County was on the TV was on the radio. I saw billboards and I thought, this is a sign. Like this is just happening right now when I need it. And it was a sign to come. And then the artwork, oh my gosh. Hmm. 
Mm. It's all been just amazing. I could start crying right now. Wow. It, anytime I think about it, I want to, I get a little teared, you know, teary eyed. Wow. Sherry, thank you for telling that story. Um, we ask all of our guests on the show this, this question, what does hope or what does the concept of hope mean to you? What's your answer on that? Oh, um, the future hope is hope is necessary to heal. Um, as we wrap up today's podcast, I'm wondering what is what is the message that you share with others um, specifically about cancer and and being an advocate for yourself? What, what's that message you like to share with others? Get tested. When they tell you to go get your colonoscopy, go get it. Don't be scared. When they tell you to get your mammogram, go get it. Both of my cancers were stage one because I always get tested. I continue to get tested. I can't say that enough. It's just take care of yourself. You know, I'm not the best eater. Yeah, I got sugar cravings all the time. I need to get off of that. And that's probably, you know, it doesn't help things. But even with that, that's another reason I make sure I get tested all, all the time. Thank you. So that's, good that good message. My, yeah. Good message. I mean, our, our, our best shot at cancer is preventing cancer. Yes. Can. yes. And then of course your best shot, if you are diagnosed with cancer is um, the first time you hear that um, getting, getting to see specialists who know um, mm -hmm. and who are experts in, in what, what you've been diagnosed with. So Sherry, thank you so much again for spending your time with us today. Thank you for telling your story. Thank you for being so candid about the mental health issues that went mm -hmm. along with that. I think that's so helpful for people to hear and to know they're not alone in that. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, to know that that they should talk to their providers if they're having those, those Please. things um, yeah. that they're not alone. It's not abnormal. It's something to be talked right. about and, and there's help for that. So thank yeah. you for sharing that story today. We You're really welcome. appreciate it. You're and welcome. thank you all for joining us for, for Talking Hope today. We hope you'll join us on the next episode. Until next time. Thank you all for listening to Talking Hope, where breakthrough conversations about preventing, treating, and curing cancer have been brought to you by City of Hope, an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. This is the hope you've been waiting for. For more information, visit cityofhope.org forward slash OC or make an appointment at any of City of Hope's five Orange County locations, including City of Hope Orange County Lennar Foundation Cancer Center, the most advanced cancer treatment center in Orange County. Call 888-333-4673. That's 888-333-HOPE.